Hey guys, it's Lydia here, and for today's video, I'm going to be taking you through a back and biceps AMRAP style workout. So this is going to be so much fun. If you haven't done AMRAP before, I'll quickly explain it. We're going to have four minutes on the clock, and I'm going to give you two moves. You're going to do each one of those moves for ten reps. So say we have curls, you're going to do ten curls, then you're going to go down ten rows. And just do ten, ten, as many times as you can in that four minute AMRAP circuit and then we're done. This is actually a lot of fun. It really does keep me on my toes and it helps you to kind of zone in on your work periods. So we have, I think, five different AMRAP circuits today, four minutes each, one minute in between each. So let's dive into the warm up. I want you to start by just swinging your arms. Here we go. Yeah, today's workout, I love AMRAP. Like I said, it really does help you get in the zone. I'm just gonna count your reps. And I always say this before an AMRAP, but I AMRAP workout, but like, just know I'm probably not gonna be talking a ton because I'm trying to count my reps. I don't wanna mess up you counting your reps. So just get in your zone. Don't worry about what I'm saying most of the time. Step side to side, get the body warm. Alrighty, now let's just do some shoulder rolls. So for most of the AMRAPs today, we're going to have one bicep and one back moves. Move, however, I think there's at least one circuit where we're just going to do back and we're just going to switch sides um, to kind of really isolate and burn out your upper back muscles. But yeah, we have a lot of fun moves. You are going to need weights today, so pull out 10 to 25-ish pounds. All right, now I want you to open your arms wide, squeeze in, really squeeze your upper back muscles. This is really good for activating that upper back. So really make sure you're squeezing your shoulder blades back and down. Great job. Yeah, this workout's gonna be fun. I have a lot of fun moves, a lot of fun curl variations, a lot of great back moves. You're gonna feel the burn. Already feeling the burn with this. Alrighty, now come to the top of your mat. Let's just do some inchworms to warm up pretty much your whole body, but especially your upper body. Just crawl it out till you get to a plank and crawl it back. Great job. Let's do a couple more reps. Last time, crawl it back to your toes and crawl it out to a plank. All right, drop to your knees, reach up, and thread through. You probably know this. One of my favorite upper body stretches and warm up stretches. It's nice and warm. My back always pops, which is so nice. Let's do one more on each side. Reach up and thread through. Other side. Alrighty. So now, let's dive into our first circuit. First moves we have are curls and a back fly. So you're gonna do regular curls and then back fly. And they might be somewhat of a similar uh, weight, uh, maybe like five pound difference at the most. So grab your weight, I'm going to start with 15s for my curls, and we go in 3, 2, 1, let's go. So just basic supinated curls, no kipping here, count your reps, 10 reps here, okay? 4 minutes on the clock. that back fly. I really want to make sure you have good form. You're just squeezing your upper back, your shoulder blades together, not bobbing with both the moves. Don't bob at all. Everything is nice and straight and it's just your arms moving, okay? Abs in tight. You're slightly bent over. You have passed your first 
first minute. Awesome job. Keep it up. 10 reps and 10 reps, okay? Great pull muscle action, okay? Whew. You can do this. Keep pushing. Alrighty guys, you were halfway through this circuit. Two more minutes left. Come on, if you can go up and wait, you can totally do that. Or just stay right where you're at and push yourself even more for these last two minutes. guys you have like 80 seconds left a minute 20 left keep pushing Whew, how many am wraps can you get in this little this last less a little over a minute and you get three rounds in three rounds sounds like a lot how many rounds can you get in basically how many reps can you get in one minute left Biceps are tired and sore from another workout I did two days ago. Thought they'd be ready for this one, but no, they're still sore. Forty seconds left. guys 20 more seconds Whew, you can do this keep pushing your body good form but push yourself how many reps can you do five more seconds don't stop and relax Whew. and wrap one done open up your arms stretch out your biceps or stretch out your back. One minute break here. Next up we have uh, preacher curls and a plank row. So, on, I'm just gonna do it on my knees. You're gonna have your knee, elbows rested on your knees, lighter weight, open up your hands, curl in. This is harder than a regular curl, so I would go down and wait. And then plank row or renegade row, you're gonna plank rowing. Okay, um, and we go in about 15 seconds. So grab the weights that you think you'll need. I think I'm gonna stick to my 15s and 20, or 15s and 10s, but just the 15s are for my back this time. Seven seconds till we go. Get set up starting with your preacher curls. And let's go. So rest your elbows on your knees, open and close. 10 reps here. Really open it up and squeeze in. Oh, it burns, right? Great job. Go right into that plank row. Squeeze your abs too on that plank row. Make sure that you're not swaying a ton. Just go right back to the next move, the next 
Don't even think about it, just go into it. Also, don't worry about all these bruises on my legs. I don't know why, but I'm so prone to bruise, especially when I play Ultimate Frisbee. Like, I always end up cleaning myself somehow. So yeah, I have a lot of random bruises on my legs from that. So don't worry, nothing bad's going on. It's just me kind of being a klutz, honestly. guys you are two minutes into this two minutes left you're halfway oh, push your body push your back and your bike muscle bike back and bicep muscles <laughs> Plank rows are always really tough for me, like there's so much going on, I'm always feeling like I'm going to die, but if you struggle with it too, it's okay, we can do this. Come on guys, a minute and 15 seconds left, you can do this. And if it's really uncomfortable in that plank row to have your hand on the dumbbell the whole time. You can just have your hand on the ground and just alternate, alternate like picking up the dumbbell. Forty-five seconds left. Come on, guys. Seconds left. Whew, it burns, right? Keep pushing yourself though. You can do this. Five. Come on, guys. Keep working it. And relax. Oh my goodness. Alrighty, circuit number two is done. Next we have a curl with a little opener in there. So you're gonna go curl, open, close, down. So it's like a half curl, so you're never fully coming up, but it's half, open, close, down. And then we have Superman on your stomach, lifting and lowering your legs and arms. Very simple, it'll burn though. So you can do those curls needling, so that way it's a quicker transition to the Superman if you want. Um, and this probably is going to need a little bit lighter weight also because you have that opening, a little bit more time under tension. So you can start with a heavier weight if you want, but I'm going to just start with my 10s. We go in 10 seconds. Just breathe. You're doing amazing, guys. Alrighty, let's go. 10 reps. Already, right off the bat, it's burning, so that's just awesome. <laughs> Alright, straight into Superman. On your stomach, lifting and lowering. Guys, you were done with your first minute. Give yourself a round of applause really quickly and then dive right back in. <laughs>
your body swing and I was catching myself kind of like swinging forward to kind of propel the dumbbells up there but don't it's supposed to be completely strict lifting just using the strength of your bicep okay there is a time and a place for kipping but in this workout I encourage you not to kip I just want you to focus on strength just keeping the dumbbell nice and strict strict curls strict rows no bouncing or kipping here okay left a minute and a half keep pushing keep working challenge yourself in this last little bit of the circuit how many reps can you do okay One minute left. Come on guys, keep pushing. Maybe start another one, your last round. Come on guys, work those muscles. And relax. Woo. Oh my goodness, take, take your breath. Check. I can't even speak. Take a breath, drink some water. You have two circuits left, guys. You're so nearly there. Mm. Alrighty. Circuit number two. We're gonna start circuit number four. <laughs> We're gonna start with a one arm row, one arm row. So, like this is the one that I said, you're just gonna go back and forth. Um, so you're gonna be right here, one arm for ten reps, and you're gonna switch the other arm. For 10 reps okay I'm gonna start with my 25 and we go in 15 seconds okay so it's just one arm one arm switching back and forth only back you can do this though you go in five seconds breathe shake it out stretch it out and let's go 10 reps One thing I want to make sure that you're focusing on, don't focus on pulling the dumbbell up towards your armpit. I want you to watch me closely, pull it up towards your waist, slowly lower down and push, actively try and push your shoulder blade down. So you're really squeezing your upper back, okay? Shoulders stay away from the ears so you're not lifting up. Everything is going back. your first minute keep going guys you're doing amazing again no kipping I know it's so tough to avoid doing that no kipping though stay strong Your 
abs in tight, protect that low back. It can be something that can be easy to try to arch your back, kind of kip. I want you to keep your abs in tight, back is nice and flat, you're just lifting and lowering. Like I said before, nothing is moving except your arm. Ooh, this burns. It's my grip that's starting to tire, right? Same for you. You have two minutes left. You're halfway, guys. Keep pushing. Your form is starting to tire and it's getting a little bit sloppy. It's okay to go down and wait. I want to encourage you to try and stick where you're at and push yourself. But if you can't do a heavier weight with good form, go down and wait five, 10 pounds. It's okay. One minute left, guys. Come on. Keep pushing. Or pulling, I guess, is what we're doing here. Keep using those pull muscles and work your body. Only 45 seconds left. You can do this. There's always one side that's a little bit stronger. So the other side's really burning out. But stay with the same weight for both sides. You want to make sure they're even. guys 20 seconds left last few reps here three two and one oh my goodness relax and guys we're on to our final circuit congratulations you were doing amazing by the way Give yourself a pat in the back and a high five. You made it, you didn't make it. You're almost there. So for this round, we're gonna do hammer curls and then upright rows, okay? Very, very simple. These weights might be like pretty close to each other. So for your hammer curls, like for me, I'm a, I might use my 20s for both, at least for the beginning. So they might be closer. I might drop down to my 15s though, part way through. <laughs> but we go in 20 seconds. Grab a drink, breathe, make sure to breathe. Upright row, or, uh, why can I speak? Hammer curls to upright row. This channel is very real. I can't speak half the time, that's okay. We're just here to work out, sweat together. Grab your weights and let's go. And for those hammer curls, I'm gonna do one arm at a time because um, I feel like it gets a better mind-muscle connection for me. Just make sure you do 10 on each arm. so you're not coming here okay it's nice strict up and down I might have to go down wait this is tough Guys, you're down. You're already one minute down. Keep pushing. Come on, guys. This is our last circuit. You can do this. You know what? I'm just going to stick to my 15s. You know, I was ambitious with the 20s, but 
it's okay if you get part way through and you're like, okay, I just realized that my body's tired. That's okay if you're there. I'm here with you. Really squeeze those upper back muscles to get the dumbbells up there. Guys, you are halfway, two minutes left. Whew, it burns, I know. Keep going though. Just do 10 and 10. Don't think about how much time is left or how bad your muscles are hurting. Just think, count your reps. One, two, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna stop counting so I don't mess you up. But just count, focus on the numbers, okay? Sometimes with, with working out or with anything when you're in pain, just need to focus on something else sometimes. Just focus on your counting, focus on your music, focus on the weather outside. I always talk about that, especially when we're in wall sits. Like, what's the weather like outside? It makes you think, right? So then you take your mind away from the pain that's happening. So just focus on the numbers, focus on your weather, whatever it is. You have a minute left. See, I told you this focus thing. It helps you. Come on, guys. 40 seconds left. Uh, 45 seconds left. Keep pushing. Keep working those muscles. 10, 10 reps. Don't shrug your shoulders on that upright row. They stay down, you're just squeezing your back. <laughs> Count your reps, focus on the number. You are 15 seconds away from finishing. <laughs> Come on guys, don't drop your dumbbells for the last five seconds. <laughs> Oh, it burns right and relax. Oh. oh my goodness, guys. My arms are so jello. Shake it out, guys. You've made it to the end of this workout. I'm so proud of you. Shake it out. And breathe. All right, I want you to start by pulling back on your fingers and pushing your elbow up to the ceiling. Stretching out your forearm and your bicep. You can kind of bend your arm and feel it more in your forearm. We'll start by doing that. So bend your arm, feel it more in your forearm. My forearms. We're absolutely dead when we're doing the, just like at the end, especially, I think it started with the bent rows. It was like, okay, they're, they're with holding these heavy dumbbells. Yes, my back and biceps are tired, but I think my forearms are the first thing to go oftentimes. You need to build up those little muscle strengths too. All right, now you can grab a little bit higher on your hand, like on your palm. Straighten out your arm. Feel that nice stretch in your bicep. Feels so good. Yeah, it's important to make sure that you strengthen all muscles. So in workouts like this, yes, you are strengthening your back and your biceps, but if you notice that your grip strength isn't great, you know, maybe your forearms are hurting, Oh, maybe I need to work on that. Maybe I need to work on my grip or on my um, like wrist mobility. Switch hands starting with that bent arm stretch. Maybe work on your wrist mobility and then after that maybe start working on its strength. Make sure that all of your muscles, even your little muscles, are being worked and being taken care of. Because oftentimes your forearm muscles can lead to elbow pain or wrist pain and you don't want that. We want to make sure all our muscles are healthy and happy and work for us the way they're supposed to and they can't if they're being neglected okay all right now grab on your palm let your fingers bend and straighten oh, this side is so sore <laughs> like i mentioned in the workout like there's always one side that's stronger than the other and this side this bicep is weaker and then this side of my back is weaker it's weird i don't know why it's not all on the same side but 
I mean, I guess it's good that it's balanced out a little bit. But yeah, this bicep, it was having trouble with those hammer curls, man. All right, now I want you to push down. Let your back arch, you can push kind of like forward slash down. It feels so good. You can push kind of side to side. Oh, I love this one. So as you can see, it's not just straight forward. You can kind of push to the side. It feels amazing. Oh, I needed this so badly. I feel like these stretches feel so good whether or not you just did this workout. They're just like amazing stretches. Push side to side, stretch out your back. And right, for the final stretches, come down into a seated position, reach your arms behind you and scooch forward. Oh, my biceps. You're gonna feel a really good stretch in your biceps. One thing I like to do for this is to kind of lean from one side to the other side. Really good opening for your biceps. Oh, feels so good. Don't want it to end. <laughs> Alrighty, and then finally come up, cross your legs, put your hands on your knees, and pull or push your upper back to the other side of the room. Feel that nice opening of your upper back. And like before, if you want to grab on one knee and stretch one side, so cross my opposite hand goes to the opposite knee, that is a really good stretch as well. Get your rear delt, your upper back, everything we worked today. But guys, that is it for today's workout. Oh my goodness, that was in a crazy workout. Felt the burn, I heard, there were so many times it was like, oh my goodness, we have three minutes left and I'm already dying. But I'm so proud of you for pushing through with me. AMRAP is such a great style to just like focus in and you're responsible for your reps. There's not, I mean, yes, I'm here with you doing the workout with you, but this is one thing where, you, this is one of those workouts where you can really just focus in on you and your reps Nothing else around you matters right now. It's just you and your reps. And so I really love this workout. It really just kind of helps you get in your zone. So I hope you did. I hope you feel strong. I'm super proud of you. And I'll see you next time for another awesome workout. Bye, guys.